Hi everyone, I'm Adam Bennett, this is The Video Shop and welcome to the second in a series of three videos looking at different ways of animating fonts in After Effects. This is super exciting because we all know that the second instalment in a trilogy is always the best. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this and drop a few techniques which may help you in your own work. I think one of the problems with animating fonts in After Effects is that there are so many different types, so there really isn't one size fits all approach. Not all clients necessarily get this. You might have animated a font from them before, and then when you're struggling to animate a trickier font, they're all like, Oh, come on! My aim with these three videos is to show you a mixture of techniques so you become a font animating badass and hopefully surprise even yourself. These are the techniques we're going to take a look at in this video. Creating shapes from text, animating path shapes, animate on with the mask tool, and time remapping. Which of these methods you use depends on the font that you're animating and which letters you need from that font. For example, if you're animating one of these words, you probably don't even need this video. Okay, let's get started. This film has been classified PG. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the film. Let's look at create shapes from text and animating path shapes. For letters made up of straight horizontals and verticals, this is probably the easiest way. Create a new text layer, center it, and then right click and select create, then create shapes from text. This gives you a new shape layer for the letter and automatically turns off the type layer. Then split the shape layer's mask path up into the parts you'll need to animate and keyframe those path shapes. Be careful that there isn't a gap between the different letter paths after you've split them up. And also, even though you should be able to scale up shape layers beyond 100% scale without any loss of quality, I find it's good practice to work in comps which are larger than you'll need, as you'll never know if you will need to reuse the assets in another project. This comp is 1080 by 1080. And voila. The S is a bit trickier. If you've watched my previous tutorial, you might think you could just trace the font and animate to trim paths. But most sans serif fonts vary in width and with a heavy weight like this, this method just won't work. So a more basic brute force method is to mask it on with the mask tool. We're still going to use the trim paths, but that will be a timing guide. Also, I'm animating it over a longer duration than I'll need, as we'll time remap it when we're done. Using the pen tool, draw a mask, then keyframe the mask path at key intervals, adding mask points along the way as you need to. I set the mask to none while I'm working so I can see what I'm doing. When done, you can either retime it by selecting the last keyframe and alt dragging them all together, or a better way is to drop your comp into another comp and rename it, then apply time remapping. The benefit of this is that it's easier to ease the timing of the keyframes. The trim paths method, which didn't work for the S, works fine for the U and then it's just a case of making sure the guide path layer covers the letter, then using it as an alpha mode. The remaining letters can be done using a mixture of all techniques, copying and pasting, then tweaking path shapes from one letter comp into another to save time where necessary. Once all the letters are animated, we can tweak the timing by adjusting or applying time remapping. And then stagger the letters so there's some overlap. To create the outline stroke effect, we can drop the main text comp into a new comp. And then apply simple choker. Give that a value of minus five then duplicate that layer, give that a value of five, then set the layer above to be alpha inverted mat. We'll rename that comp super outline and rename our main comp super on. Next, to have our text animate off, we can drag the super on comp into a new comp and name that super on off. Within that comp, we can duplicate the layer and apply a simple choker again, value of minus one, then use that top layer as an alpha inverted mat.
Drag the top layer along the timeline to have it animate off the layer below. Then replace the main comps in our super outline comps by selecting them and alt dragging the super on off comp onto them. Finally, we can add our animated type to our final composition which has a text layer in place as a guide. And adjust the timing as we'd like it so it loops. Thanks for watching. Please take a long look through this project file which you can download for free in the description below. If you found this tutorial useful and you'd like to see more, well, you know what to do. I'll be releasing new tutorials every Monday. Leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see a tutorial on in the future and tag me on Instagram if you use these techniques in your work. I'd love to see what you come up with. You can find other tutorials on this channel and details of upcoming courses on my website. As I'm recording this, I currently have an online part-time motion design course for Escape Studio starting on 22nd of March. Thanks again for watching. See you again soon.